So um, at the ESH meeting, uh, we're presenting some case-based series um, with some interactive questions uh, at the meeting uh, to test the audience's knowledge about pH like ALL. Um, we're going to review uh, a variety of different um, off label therapeutic strategies for patients with pH like ALL, um, including application of uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitor based uh, strategies in combination with chemotherapy um, and how. Um, specific genetic mutations within pH like ALL uh, may be targeted by specific tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Um, so some of the case-based examples we'll talk about um, involve patients with the ABLE class fusions uh, within pH like ALL, and we think that these are um, targetable potentially by tyrosine kinase inhibitors such as imatinib or disatinib. Uh, these involve fusions of ABLE1, ABLE2, CSF1R, or PDGFR beta, and we're extrapolating data uh, demonstrating the success of adding TKIs to chemotherapy in patients uh, with analogous pH positive ALL uh, that harbors the BCR able translocation. Uh, the second class that we will discuss um, are those that involve uh, JAK pathway alterations or CRLF2 rearrangements. Uh, there is a, a wide body of preclinical data suggesting that these may be targetable by JAK inhibitors, such as ruxolitinib. And there are active clinical trials ongoing right now that are studying the potential efficacy of adding ruxolitinib to chemotherapy, uh, both in pediatric patients as well as in uh, young adult patients. Uh, we don't know the answer to this question yet, uh, but hopefully uh, within the next few years, uh, these trials will help us to answer if adding ruxolitinib to chemotherapy has been an effective strategy for these patients.